This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So now it's time to start authoring a project in Encore. And the first step is to import your assets. So to do that, let's open up Encore. And we'll create a new project. Here in the splash screen, we'll go down to New Project. And I want to make sure that you save it inside your My Encore Exercise files. I'll try not to remind you about this too many times, but again, you don't want to put it inside the Working Files folder. Put it in your little sort of scratch folder here. And we'll just name this one Importing, or you can name it whatever you want. And you can accept the defaults here, DVD, NTSC, or if you're in PAL, you can select that, whatever you want. Click OK. Now, a reminder, importing assets does not mean that you're moving assets from some place on a hard drive to some other place on a hard drive. You're merely creating links to those assets here inside the project panel. You can do that in one of three ways. We'll start with a standard way by going File, Import As. There is no Import option. It's just the Import As option. And you have multiple choices here, Asset and several other choices. Notice this one is grayed out. There's a reason for that, which I'll explain in the next tutorial. But our purpose here is to work only with assets in this particular tutorial. So we'll go Import as Asset. That opens up the Import as Asset dialog box. I'm going to back up a bit here and go to the Digital Juice Edited Footage folder. And inside that folder, we've got all these different kinds of files. We've got audio files and video files, different kinds of video files, different kinds of audio files. I want to import these files into Encore just as assets, just as they are here. So first of all, I can select an individual file like just this first one and click Open, and that'll bring that in. Simple as that. If I want to do that again, I go File, Import As. This time we'll select More. If you want to select, let's say, individual files like this file and then some other WAV files, WFE files, you hold down the Control key in Windows or the Command key in Mac and select individual files that way. So I've got all the WAV files, and I can select them individually if I wanted to, and then click Open. I'm going to click Away to deselect them. You can select contiguous files by clicking on one and then shift clicking on the other ones that you want to select with the ones in between selected. And then you can select individual files after that point by holding on the control of the command key again to let's say pick this one and that one, something like that. And once you've selected the files there, you just click open again, like so, and that brings in those files. Another possibility that you might consider is to go import as asset, and you see a folder there. So you select the folder and you think you can import the entire folder. It doesn't work that way in Encore. It does work that way in some other programs like Premiere, but not here. Click Open and it just bounces inside of that folder and asks you to select individual clips here inside the folder. I can click on that one and shift click on number 10 and that'll select all those 10 clips there. There are more below here, but I'm just showing you how to select 10 contiguous clips like that. There you go. Now there are other ways to bring assets into Encore. I'm going to go Control or Command Z to undo the work we just did and start from scratch. You can double click inside the project panel, and that's sort of my favorite keyboard shortcut to bring assets into virtually any program inside the Adobe Creative Suite. Just double click in an empty space inside the project panel, and that opens up the Import as Asset dialog box. It's just a great way to get to it fast. In this case, I want to bring in all these guys, so I select the first one and then shift click on the last one, and we can bring them all in just like that. Simple, right? So double-clicking does import as an asset, but you can right-click and bring things in specifically in terms of whether it's a timeline or something like that. Let me just go Control or Command Z just to show you that. If I right-click here in the project panel, then it gives you the option to import as, and you can select from these various things. Notice that the thing that says an individual page doesn't show up here. If you go back to here, but on import as, you've got this thing menu page showing up. But if you right-click over here, menu page doesn't show up here. In any event, we're dealing with assets here, so we just select Asset, and again, we get that same dialog box. Let me back up one notch here and show you the Party Life assets. This is a separate project we're going to work on later. But in here are their menu PSD files. All menus are Photoshop files, and so if I just double-click on this one here, or select all five of them by shift-clicking on the last one, these open up as if they were, let's say, images. You could see them as an image like that inside the preview there. They look like menus and images, but they aren't menus. You're just importing them as Photoshop files. You can convert them later to a menu, but in the next tutorial I'll show you that you can import them directly as menus and you won't have a separate file sort of hovering here to deal with later. So again, we're dealing with importing assets here, which you can convert to DVD elements, to Encore elements later. But the easier way to do it is to import them as Encore elements, and I'll explain how to do that in the next tutorial.